is up, bros? We are back with some strategic mind Blitzkrieg. We are ready to unleash the Wehrmacht and Blitzkrieg upon the West. But first, we must hear from our generals. Rommel, you're up. I'm worried about the Aban Imal. Reports make it sound like a miracle of engineering. Walls so thick no shells will penetrate them. A thousand strong garrison and a large number of artillery cannons. If we take it head-on, they'll massacre us. We have to come up with a way to capture it without resorting to the frontal assault. No problem. I got something in mind. Guderian, you're I up. I can't wait to even the score with the French. This time, the stakes are much higher, so we could expect heavy resistance. You can say whatever you want about the baguette lovers, but the they've always held their lovers. own in ground combat. Their Char B1 heavy tanks are fearsome beasts. As much as I love our Panzers, I don't believe our tank forces are evenly matched. When it comes to an open fight, I recommend our Luftwaffe supports us. I agree. Uh, Manstein. Capturing France and its neighboring states will prove a significant strategic challenge. Many sound military minds had similar plans in the past, but the world has come a long way since then. New weapons, new technology, and superior communications have made old tactics obsolete. This new age demands a new solution. All right, to the map. We're going in. Next operation, Battle of France. Task, occupy Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Northern France. Capture Paris. General Halder, I have an idea about Falkelb and Falroth. I would like to share my thoughts with you. Thank you, General Manstein, but the plans have already been developed. Tomorrow I will present them to Hitler. You cannot be serious. This strategy is just a simple duplicate of our Schlieffen plan from 1914. This plan has already proven its effectiveness. The enemy is well prepared for exactly this type of scenario. We have to act in a more unpredictable manner, making a totally unexpected strike with our tank forces from the Ardennes. Finally, our tanks will get to show their full potential. I like your plan, Erich. Hold your horses, Heinz. Please explain exactly what are you suggesting, Monstein? The key idea of my plan is that our main force should attack from the Ardennes. After crossing the river, our tank forces will swiftly advance through the enemy's rear, cutting it off Ooh. and encircling the bulk of his troops. No, Manstein. I consider your fantasies too risky. Oh, My plan remains pissed. unchanged, and I will present it to Hitler. Halder, you forced me to go to Hitler and express my suggestions to him personally. I trust that you will not make such a stupid mistake, Monstein. I reject your plan, Halda. <laughs> I have a better strategy. I have created a new plan by reworking some of Monstein's ideas. Side eye. Hardly anyone can doubt the strategic talents of our commander in chief. I was fortunate enough to have a look at the plan of our Führer. I can only say this is the plan of a true strategic genius. Yes, yes. My plan is built around a massive invasion through the Ardennes. We will use the Blitzkrieg strategy to gain swift victory over Belgium, Holland, and France. This is the moment for the Luftwaffe to smite our enemies from the sky. Have no doubts, my Führer. Our gallant air force under my command will crush the enemy and bring a quick victory to the Reich. But first... I will send my directives to the headquarters. Buffet. You are dismissed. Halder was pissed. Monstein, you have outsmarted yourself. The Führer not only listened to your plan, but also considers it his own now. If you are such a swift and sharp man, I have a gift for you. You are hereby appointed the commander of an infantry division, which will advance in the third echelon, after the tanks of Guderian and the infantry of Rommel. 
Yes, oh, sir. Oh, just put him in the rear. Threw him in. That's weak. That's a slap in the face. According to the Fallgelb operations plan, the Wehrmacht will attack France and its allies from two directions. Army Group B will create a diversion in the north, passing through the Netherlands and Belgium. Army Group A will conduct our main offensive through the Ardennes. Their goal is to cross the river Meuse and begin operations deep within enemy territory. Their next objective will be to flank the French first army positions at Lille and force their retreat unless the enemy wishes to be encircled and destroyed. To that end, we must first take the cities of Sedan and Lan. A sound plan, but bear in mind the enemy won't just sit and wait for our tanks to bypass the Maginot Line. Unless our units approach the line directly, they are under no threat. The French won't leave their cozy bunkers to give chase. The key is to cross the Meuse before the enemy fortifies the riverbank. We'll need to do so immediately. I still think advancing through the forests of the Arden is too risky. But the plan has the Fuhrer's approval, so that is what we shall do. So, in order to defeat France, we must take the following cities. Lille, Amiens, Reims, Compiègne, and finally Paris. In the neighboring states, we need to capture the Dutch capital of Amsterdam, the ports of Rotterdam, and The Hague, the Belgian capital of Brussels, the important Belgian strongholds, Antwerp, and Liège. Finally, while crossing the Arden, our forces must take Luxembourg. Our advance in Belgium and the Netherlands will be impeded by water obstacles as well as the enemy's extensive fort network. These states are practically impregnable. Nonsense. The Luftwaffe will level those forts. Not the Iban Imal, it won't. General Rommel is right. With walls that thick, the strategic fort of Ebn Amal is impervious to any kind of bombardment. Meanwhile, if we leave the fort intact, its artillery will vaporize our forces trying to cross the Albert Canal. That hunk of concrete may seriously slow down our advance. It has to be dealt with quickly. Any suggestions? Yes. Paul Several paratrooper units armed with flamethrowers. Land them in the fort's blind spots and smoke out the defenders. I have something lined up for the Dutchmen as well. A surprise that will break their fighting spirit for quite some time. Soon you will witness Goring's legendary ingenuity in action. Nice. All right, let's see what we got here. Primary objectives occupy Belgium, three spots, Netherlands, three spots, Luxembourg, France, five. Cross the Meuse rivers to the south of Sedan. There is Sedan. Uh, we got three turns to do that in. Yeah, we're going to have to haul balls to get that done. Uh, capture Sedan and Long uh, in six turns. Neutralize the Ibn Amal fort in four turns. And I believe that was in here. So, we got a pretty decent force, but I'm going to be adding to it. We've got... A crap ton of panzers and infantry and artillery to put down. So let me go ahead and do that. May 9th, 1940. Let's start. There it is. Ibn Amal. Let's get that out of the way first. Let's do some recon here. Alright, yeah. Our bros is already lighting stuff up. Infantry... We've got anti-aircraft and probably another infantry in here. Yeah. All right. Well, we need to go ahead and knock this out if we can before we try to drop the Falsham Yagers in there. I, I think if you attack it, it can't, it doesn't fire back or get initial fire off. Yeah, we're good. Oh, of course, there's another one up here. Yeah, I have a feeling every city is going to have some anti-aircraft guns. I've just, I, I just got that weird feeling. All right, that one got through. Unscathed. Damn, we can take that out in a one-shot. Portibonimal is no more. 
I did not expect a state-of-the-art fortress like that to fall so quickly. Yeah, neither the did I. The war is beginning to look like a promenade. After the mid-grinders of the Great War, when taking enemy fortifications cost thousands of lives, the fall of the Ibn Amal makes for a tremendous display of power. Ha! Huh. I'll bet Indeed. you a trophy crate of champagne that our enemies still fail to grasp the Blitzkrieg strategy. Tomorrow, the newspapers of the world will blame the Belgian defeat on some secret wonder weapon of our great army forces. Exactly. They don't grasp the Blitzkrieg. How could they? They've never seen anything like it. So where do we want to start? Um, with clearing out Liège? I would say yeah. I would say that's a good start. Well done, my bros. Nice. And not to mention we got the two armored trains now. Two of them. Two massive armor trains with some... Look at that range. Already. Capturing territory. And we'll just move up here see what we... Let's just see what we got. Just nice and slow advance. We don't need to be hauling ass up here. Give you uh, some backup. All right, I think we're good. Let's see what we got here. Too bad I didn't have another scout car. That would have helped. You gonna fire or no? Well done. Sometimes it just doesn't want to respond. Okay, to the south, let's see what we've got. I want to take Luxembourg out quick. We got to get Luxembourg out of there quick. Luxembourg must fall. Rapidly. Ferociously. Viciously. All right, that is a wrap on May 9th. I'm expecting... I don't know what I'm expecting, actually. Pro I don't I don't expect them to move up, but they're probably going to bring in the Air Force. May I intended to neutralize the Dutch resistance quickly, and I intend to keep my word. In the approaching hours, the Luftwaffe will conduct an aerial raid on Rotterdam, a raid of unmatched proportions. This okay, will Trump. break the Netherlands' desire to fight. However, the Dutch have deployed a strong anti-aircraft defense. Suppress those guns, let my bombers swoop in, and watch history being made. So be it. I will order the enemy anti-aircraft defense to be dealt with. I loathe the idea of a mass bombardment of a city, any city. But if it prevents further resistance from the Dutch, we will save more lives in the long run. General, we have received a very strange report from one of our units. According to that report, someone ambushed them killing the commander with a bow and arrow. <laughs> Moreover, the soldiers heard a bagpipe being played in the forest that night. Brave Ervin, are you feeling well? When did you sleep last? General, I'm in good health, both body and mind, but I'm no less confused. I did not believe this report myself at first, but there are more and more similar claims every day. Believe it or not, two days ago, our scouts were attacked by a man wielding a damn sword. Our men swear that it was some Brit. One of them even noticed a bagpipe on him. Why the hell are we talking about some bagpipe, Ervin? I think I know who you're talking about, Halder. There is one, one wacky individual among the Brits. He is extremely weird, even by Tommy standards. His name is Jack Churchill. He goes into battle with a bow and sword and always carries a bagpipe with him. Holy moly. Is this lunatic a relative of the British Prime Minister? Or what? It is unknown. If that is the case, the secrecy is kept well. Anyways, he will tell us that personally. 
Rummel, catch me this Robin Hood of yours. Yeah. Robin Hood. All right, we got it. Braveheart, I'm calling him. Yeah, Goring sounded like Trump. It's going to be the biggest air bombing in history. The biggest air bombing ever seen. Oh, actually, there it is. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to move up quickly and take out the anti-aircraft guns. So, yeah, Jack Churchill, we got to uh, capture him. Ensure the bombing of Rotterdam. Uh, damage to infrastructure. Uh, yeah, we got to... They got to survive so they can bomb 20 times. I'm taking that's what it means. Or 20 damage. Uh, and we can only lose three aircraft. You want to give it a shot? Go for it. Nice! Storming into the Netherlands. All right, we got to move up rapidly here. Uh, armored train. I think this is a job for you. Well done. Got him on the run. Oh, anti-tank right there. Oh, look at the 88. Range and destructive power on show. They all, they always, always just survive. It's amazing how they always just, just survive. Liege is captured. Yeah, more anti-air infantry. Obviously, they'd have that. Should I attack with the, I think I should. Then we have our attack on Luxenturd. Uh, so what, we just gotta cross the river? Yeah, that's what we gotta do, so we can hold off on that. How do I have no line of sight? I'm on a hill! They're down there! How is that no line of sight? How, look! I, bruh. I don't believe you on your line of sight. I'm calling bullshit on the whole line of sight thing. Alright, that's gonna be a wrap on May 10th. So Goring and his crew is attempting to bomb uh, Rotterdam. But only two planes made it through. We're going to have to take out a lot more anti-air. All right, it is May 11th. All right, Goring. Uh, I got your back. Goring's going to get pissed off if we lose three aircraft. So, let's not lose three aircraft. I think... We got this. We got this, guys. I don't think, um... I don't think this is gonna be a problem. Is that... I think that's open, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, not gonna be a problem. Oh, uh, look what we're going to get here. We're going to get both armored trains on a single target. It has to have like one health left after that. How would you still have that much health left? I mean, I get it's dark, but come on. Uh, well... 
take this out. Got it. Just took your air filled. How you like that? Uh oh, I didn't, I didn't, it looked open. We want to capture everything, remember? We want to punish them. We don't just want to beat them by taking the main points. We want to take everything. We, we want to take their livelihood. We want to take everything they have. Including their women and their Twitch thoughts. Ooh. Imagine taking out... Invading a country and taking all their hot Twitch thoughts. Tell me that that wouldn't completely demoralize an enemy. Uh, let's see what's up here. Yeah, that, oh, I forgot. It's dark. We can't see. They brought up some tanks, but right now I'm not worried about those. We need to focus on the anti-air. We gotta make Goring happy. Happy Goring, happy life. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, they moved up a tank down here too. Just, just push. Just go ahead and take it. Come on. I ain't got time to sit around here and wait. We gotta get to work. My friend are surrounded cut off sad story well so all we need to do is cross the river right our forces have there. crossed the river Meuse as predicted the French weren't quick enough to fortify the opposing riverbank it seems the risk of advancing through the Ardennes has been completely justified we have gained momentum. Let us make full use of it and keep pushing forward. Uh, not, not quite yet. Just maybe hold off on that a little bit. Oh, they got support. Bro, you were right there. Why didn't you see that? All right, that's a wrap on May 11th. Look, we've already captured two of the spots we need to in Belgium. It is now May 12th, 1940. Goring's boys still doing some work on Rotterdam, but they're getting hammered pretty hard by the anti-aircraft guns. We have got to take those out this round. Goring is getting more and more upset. How upset, you might ask? It's a good question. So upset. That he skipped the breakfast buffet this morning. And uh, you know what? When he skips the buffet, he, he just doesn't perform as well. He needs that cholesterol flowing through his veins. Goring without cholesterol is like a tank without a barrel, an engine, a transmission. It's not good. Okay, so also though we've got we've got anti-tank in support, which is also a problem. All right, Goring, we got one out for you. Nice. I'm bringing it in. Actually, uh, let's move you right there. We're bringing in the 
Bringing in the big guns. Get demolished. Hey, hold on a sec. Are, are they going to keep bombing that? Don't, don't bomb me, bro. I didn't even think about that. No friendly fire. Nice. Now, watch this. This is something that I uh, purchased. Remember when we did the subs and we had the uh, wolf pack attack? We've got something similar to that. We've got the uh, tank onslaught. Yeah, I shouldn't have moved him up that far, I guess. Yeah, let's uh, not do that right now. I moved that guy up too far, I think. Of course, run, but oh, look what we've got. Oh shit, you know what I forgot about? I forgot about the Maginot line. Oh, it's gonna run. Yeah, it probably runs all the way to here. Yeah, we'll just take this force after we clear this and bring it down here. This most northern force will just keep along the coast, I guess. I can't believe I forgot about the Maginot line. How does that happen? Okay, so we need to take this. Yep, it does. It does run that whole area. Oh! Luxembourg! I nearly forgot! Got him. Our units have taken Luxembourg. With minimal resistance, I might add. As expected. Their pathetic excuse of an army could never stand up to the mighty German army. Exactly. It was pathetic at best. I think calling it pathetic is giving it a little bit too much. I think it was worse than pathetic. How could I have forgot my armored train? No, you know what I'm gonna do? I got um, I got this Guderian's drill. We're gonna use that and attack again. Finish him off. So he can't heal up. Noise, brother. Noise. Well, that is going to wrap up the twelfth of may we are closing in on amsterdam and the haig we have taken part of rotterdam as it's being bombed uh we're working on antwerp we've taken arnhem and nijmegen we have taken brussels and liege and we've also taken sidon and knocked luxembourg out so when we pick this back up next episode with just a few things to clear up here, it's mostly going to be an Attack the French episode. I can't wait. Bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace, Bruminati. Out.